Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Mediocre MTG. Uh, tonight's video, I'm recapping the, uh, yes, that's right, the three-headed giant uh, that me and my friends did <laughs> um, with uh, Theros uh, Beyond Death uh, this past weekend. Sorry, we had six of us, so I figured, like, well, two had a giant, and you know, each, each team gets 12 packs and makes two decks, so we had six of us, let's do three. Uh, so I'm quirky and wanted to do that, and we did it. It was a, uh, <laughs> it was kind of challenging, actually, to be honest. Um, I think the big thing is having 18 packs over 12 is a significant difference. Um, so that, it definitely took deck construction a, a lot longer. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to go through and uh, share what we all built, you know, kind of by mana curve, and uh, um, go from there. Um, Talk a little bit about it. So, um, yeah, if, if we do it again, we'll probably cut down to 12 packs with three people. Uh, but it was good. It was a it was a long long game. Uh, we're gonna start off with my deck first. Uh, played a Nation Boar. Did not did not see him at all to be cast. Uh, Mantle of the Wolf. I did eventually get that out. Um, I played a Mono Green Ramp Shadow Spear. This is this is a game changer at the end. Uh, 60 point swing. I actually played with 40 life each. Um, that helped us stabilize as we were down like 40 to 20 something. Then two swings with a 15 15 creature is a, uh, yeah, assassin uh, training. Um, so it definitely enchantments and, and ramping here. And it's uh, kind of what I went with. On my first four or five turns, I only had one land though, so it was really rough. And I went m m mulligan down to five. Hider's Growth, uh, wasn't able to get that out, but I did have it in hand. Uh, one of many Nyxborn Colossuses. The, the Nyx Herald, uh, did not did not see that one at all. The only thing Huntmaster came in and helped out and gave a plus five, plus so for Devotion on one of those swings. Another character, as we're seeing, um, seeing the ramp, Omen of the Hunt, didn't get that out, was in there for ramp. It had a Voracious Typhon. Uh, Mystic Repeal was able to use that on a, I think a flyer. One of the players had a Gift of Strength. Uh, Trying to am Amulet. Another Typhon. Typhon. Uh, Orbrier Blessing that helped remove a big 7-9 uh, creature that was out there. Colossus' is Design. And Bullet wasn't able to use it. Wolf Hollow Haven. That helped me out. That started me to, to ramp once I got to two lands. Another Typhon. Typhon. I feel like one of those wasn't in there. Had another Nyxborn. Another Nile is Huntmaster. Nesh and Wanderer. Uh, Nile is Forerunner. Had that out. That was my guy. I ended up pumping up pretty big. The five drop. And then another Colossus. So you see, you know, I. Really, a lot of four, five, six drops, assuming I can get there. No, I eventually did. Um, that is my mono green deck. Um, thought about going red green. I did pull a, a Clothis, Clothis, and the, the, the red Seder. You know, red green Seder, Lord. But uh, next, uh, one of my team members played uh, um, black, red. Phoenix of the Ash, he, he wasn't able to get that out. Nelspis, the Nelspis, Elspis Nightmare. We had a Timeric Chosen from Death, did not see play. A Minions Return, did not see it. Final Death was in there. We did see that kind of aspect of Lamprey. Another Final Death. Omen of the Dead, that came out. Helped out a little bit. Temple Thief. It's pretty good in there for being unblockable. Gray Merchant, we were able to drop a Gary uh, for sadly only three. Croxa, Croxa, he was able to cast this two times from his hand and once from a merge. So that was, or escaped, so that was pretty good. Uh, Fruitful, Fruit of Tizerus, tried to steer away from that one. Um, though we did, we did complicate the mess up the rules while I did. I thought opponents and players were different. Though was, they were our opponent. It's like our team and their team were opponents and the players were all separate, but that's not the case. Uh, another Timeret. Venomous Hierophant. 
a scavenging harpy. Enemy of Enlightenment. Underworld Rage Hound. A careless Celebrant. Satyr's Cunning. Satyr's Cunning. Didn't get any of those out. Did have an Omen out. Infuriate. Irreverent Revelers that came out. Uh, kind of whiffed with the Destroying an Artifact. Omen of the Forge again. Uh, Stampede Rider. Another Omen. And Soul Reaper. So he definitely had a lower curve. Um, not as aggro as what I would have wanted. You know, I know mine kind of was if I could get there um, with all the big creatures. That's what I was kind of looking to do. Um, but the deck that really carried us uh, is blue white control. Uh, so we had another Elspeth Conquer's Death. We had a Dream Trawler that did not come out. Caremetra's Blessing. Shatter the Sky. This this was our game changer when we when that was cast. Another Caremetra's Blessing. Archon of the Archon of the Falling Stars. Sunmate Pegasus. Memory Drain. Yeah, now we start to see some counters. Deny the Divine, Deny the Divine. Ichthyomorphosis. That came out once, I believe. We had pack two of them. Another Deny the Divine. A glimpse of Freedom for Draw. Sleep of the Dead. Metamized Prophecy, that one came out. Vexing Gull, another Memory Drain, another Sleep of the Dead, Shimmering Ring Chimera, the Thrinati Singer, I can read, Nyad of Hidden Coves, another Memory Drain, another Ichthyum, yeah, and then a Stinging Lionfish. So you can see definitely control, and you know, we definitely played you know three four counters. So that deck is and, and the the board wipe is what it saved us. That was that was good. It did kill a creature that I finally had. I was starting to kind of do my thing, but um, it was not to be. So what we played against is I kind of resituate here. Yeah, sure. Uh, we had a mono white opponent. Uh, Creatures, enchantments, removal, kind of your typical mono white. Laguna Band, Storyteller, Triumphant Surge, uh, Dawn, Evangel, Indomitable Will, Nyxborn Cursor, Elseid of Life's Bounty, Sunmane Pegasus. That came out. I remember Revoke's existence, I'm sure, was used on something. At one point, they did have Omen. Each one of them had at least one Omen out. There's an art. Caremetra's Blessing, another Pegasus, Sentinel's Eyes, Phalanx Tactics, another Omen of the Sun, Birth of Miletus, I uh, did not see that one come out, Favorite of Iroas, again looking at the Constellation theme, another Sentinel's Eyes, Dreadful Apathy, Sunmane, Captivating you, Corn. Transcendent Envoy. Banishing Light came out. Uh, Triumphant Surge. And Irreverent Hoplite. So yeah, that, that could have been bad, but I think starting with 40 Life, we were all... I think how we were, we were, we were well posed. I think they could have been a little bit more aggressive once they... So we didn't have too much going on. Uh, there was a red-black deck that we saw. E2 Extinction, Underworld Breach, and that's a card that I removed. Perforos did not make a make an appearance. Uh, Oriad of Mountains Blaze, this this deck did did probably really good with all the reanimation stuff. Minions Return, Omen of the Forge, another Oriad, Myers Grasp, Lampet of Death Vigil. Careless Celebrant. Low mana curve here. Rage Scar Berserker. Omen of the Dead. Nyxborn Brute. The Brute came out. That he ended up. Actually, maybe it was a 7 3. I thought it was something more. Thrill Possibility. Discordant Piper. 
Omer to the Forge. Lots of two drops here. Dream Shaper Shaman. I believe that was heavy hitter. He had come out. Didn't do too much. Nord Discurrent Piper. Heroes of the R Revel. Satyr's Cunning happened a couple times. Throw a possibility. Satyr's Cunning. Inevitable End. And uh, the Slaughter Priest. So really low curve here. Looking to keep getting a lot of uh, regeneration with with sack effects and stuff like that. But he was that was the deck that kind of did the most to us. And then uh, they they had a blue green player, uh, Protean Thermatrage, Adir Kraken, Citizen Champion, Nylea. Did not see Nylea come out. Inspire Awe, Citizen Training, Citizen Training on Citizen Tactics would have been, or on Citizen Champion would have been something. Home with the Hunt, yeah, I'm glad the champion didn't come out. Citizen Skirmisher, Warbriar Blessing, Nexus Wardens, there's a Colossus, there's a Typhon, not a Nexus Wardens. Destiny Spinner. That came out. That was a little worrisome. Nightly is Huntmaster. Citizen Skirmisher. Moss Viper. I did have a couple Moss, by, Moss Vipers, but I didn't play them. I want to be more aggressive then. Holding off Renata. Starlet Mantle. Brine Giant. That could have been. A lot of enchantments. Makes sense. Inspire All again. Citizen Skirmisher. Legion, Keratid, Citizen Training, Starlet Mantle, and our Starlet Mantle. So, some of these maybe, I try to keep them all intact. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, essentially the, the rough deck so um that's what it was so we we did uh we did we had two red black decks go going at it um maybe the next time we play we'll actually do it as a draft and or a, a normal seal and kind of play 1v1 but we like to our, our multiplayer um have a blue white and a blue blue green our, our they told us they only pulled one counter so it's really tough for them to go that route. And then my, my final green, they just got kind of big. You know, and I had a little bit of, did I have any removal? I don't know, but I don't know. That's it. Just wanted to go ahead and, and recap uh, recap that. I was pretty happy with how, uh, how my deck played once I started getting there. But yeah, being stuck on being stuck on one land for first four or five turns really hurt, hurt us. Because I just needed one more, and then I could have started, you know, uh, doing, like, the land scrying with enchantments coming, and I had, like, four enchantments in hand, and eventually would have gotten there. And and I did. Took a board wipe and turned six or seven, but... I did, it came around, and... Yeah, it was, it was a control deck that put us where we got, so... Uh, there we go. That's our three-head giant recap. I would not recommend doing half box for each team unless you have a little bit more time. Um, nothing else going on. You want to play a couple games, but we still had fun, so it was a, it was a good thing. So, all right. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll uh, have to get my recap of uh, the gold draft. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. All right. Good night, everyone.